Hey there, sons and daughters of God, June 4th, seek the company of the wise. Proverbs 13, 20 says, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. From the earliest years, it is necessary to weave into the character principles of stern integrity that the youth may reach the highest standard of manhood and womanhood. The youth should seriously consider what shall be their purpose and life work and lay the foundation in such a way that their habits shall be free from all taint of corruption. If they would stand in a position where they shall influence others, they must be self-reliant. We may learn a lesson from the lily. And although surrounded with influences that would tend to corrupt the morals and bring ruin upon the soul, we may refuse to be corrupted and place ourselves where evil association shall not corrupt our hearts. Individually, the youth should seek for association with those who are toiling upward with unfaltering steps. Examine your own hearts, judge your own course, consider what associates you are choosing. Do you seek the company of the wise or are you willing to choose worldly associates, companions who fear not God and obey not the gospel? The only safeguard for children and youth is the love and fear of God. Let them choose for their companions those who give evidence that they will encourage good purposes, orderly habits, and uprightness of character. Let them choose for companions those who practice the Bible truth and walk according to the light that shines upon their pathway. If you would have broad views, noble thoughts, and aspirations, Choose associations that will strengthen right principles. Let every thought and the purpose of every action bend to the securing of the future life with eternal happiness. Have a great day. You're a son and daughter of God.